name is Sankal Pita and you are watching Book Geeks India. This is a channel where I make book related videos. So if you love books, if you love reading and you have a passion for books just like I do, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos and turn that notification button on because you will be notified every time I post a new video. So guys, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my March book haul. Now, I have 12 books to show you and these are the books which were sent to me by publishers and authors. I have not bought any of them, but nevertheless, I wanted to show you all the books which I got in the month of March and hence, this video is here. So before I start the video, I just want to show you all the books which I got. So these are the 12 books which I'm going to talk to you about just now. So guys, the first book which I got is God's Own Kitchen. And it's written by Rashmi Bansal. Now, this book was sent to me by Westland Limited. And this is the story of Akshay Patra, which was started by ISKCON Bangalore way back in 1999, when they started with just 1500 children. So, those of you who don't know what Akshay Patra is, it's a kind of midday meal program, uh, a voluntary program, uh, NGO run, non government program. Uh, which is run by ISKCON Bangalore and it currently it is catering to 11 cities and 27 centers all over India totally freeing 1.6 lakh children 1.6 million children I'm sorry every day so that's huge right they just started from 1500 children in, uh, in 99 and now they are at 1.6 million children so this book is actually a non-fiction a true account of their success story so um, I'm really looking forward to this one so the next book which I got is The Rich Laborer. Now this book is written by Parthajit Sharma and it's co-authored by Sibani Sharma. Now this book was sent to me by uh, the author himself and this is a very interesting business management book because this is actually uh, supported by a fiction as well. So the concept in this books I have been supported by a fiction story which makes it really interesting to read the book and uh, the method which they have talked about uh, in this book is 3P method which is an alternate approach to problem solving. So I really am looking forward to this book. So guys the next book which I have is uh, An Era of Darkness which is written by Shashi Tharoor. Now this book is actually a non-fiction history book and uh, it is about the story of uh, British Empire in India so uh, really lengthy one but nevertheless I am looking forward to reading this one. The next book which I am going to talk to you about is uh, Battlefields and Paradise. Yeah, that's the name. Uh, it's written by Sabir Hussain and this book was sent to me by Westland Publishers. Uh, I have just started reading this book. I am on 40 pages or something. And uh, this book is actually a true account of um, a journey, a solo road trip which the author took from New Delhi to Ladakh in the month of May 2013. So this is about his experiences out in, you know, the wild. So the next book which I got is also from Westland Publishers. This is the Saraswati's Intelligence and uh, this is the part one of the Krishkinda Chronicles. The author is Vamsi Juluri and this is actually a mythological fiction which is a very different, uh, you know, take on the history, the pre ancient history of Kishkinda which is the place where Hanumanji was born so um, this takes a very different approach to their story and it says the Kishkinda Chronicle reimagines the ancient prehistory of India from a startling new perspective that will make us realize what it means to be human and animal so guys, I'm also excited for this one. Let's see. I've not read a mythological fiction, um, you know, since a long time and this is really interesting. Uh, the next book which I'm going to talk to you about is Streaks of Dawn and it's written by Anirban Chatterjee. So this is a story of a guy, Ayan, who has been married to his wife, uh, Hia, for quite some time now and their marriage is suffering from all those, um, you know, um, problems which usually marriage suffers. I'm fed up of a long romantic and dull marriage. Ayan uh, gets in touch with his childhood love, uh, Janvi, but just before he knows and he does anything else, he falls in love with Snehal. And Snehal is none other than Rajiv, who is actually Ayan's best friend's wife. So he gets um, into an extramarital affair with Rajiv's uh, wife. And uh, now Snehal is all in love with him and he's, she's willing to, you know, leave everything and, you know, get married, uh, settle down in life with him. But what will Ayan do? Will he go back to uh, his wife here or will he go back to Janvi or will he be, you know, willing to go and settle with uh, Snehal? 
So this is the story of Ahan and the Ayan and these three women and uh, let's see what the story holds for us. The next book which I got is from Rupa Publication and the book is called A Song of Many Rivers and it's written by Dustin Bond. Now this book is actually uh, you know a fiction uh, book uh, and it mentions lots and lots of tales, legends, uh, anecdotes, uh, stories revolving around the Himalayan river. So there are many rivers in Himalaya which have a legend, which have their own uh, legends and tales and stories surrounding them. Um, these main rivers include the Bhagirathi, the Alaknanda and also the Mandakini. And um, so this is a very cute read. I actually like to read such kind of books and I have read many of Ruskin Vaughan's book. Uh, on Masuri, on um, Dehradun. So I really enjoyed this kind of writing from him. So looking forward to this one. Next book which I have got is Polite Pickup Lines in Indian Pubs and it's written by Varun Manawa. Now this is a guy who has actually authored a book which can be very useful to many of you. So this is exact, uh, this is your conversation guide in Indian pubs and it tells you all that you should do and you should not do, refrain from do in um, terms of conversations in Indian pubs. So it is this, this book seems really helpful and I'm soon planning to read this one. The next book is called The First Trillionaire and it's written by Sapna Jha. This book is also sent to me uh, by the author and this is a story of a girl called Shell who is a girl from a rural humble village background but she climbs in her life and she's really ambitious, she's really promising and she has a huge career out there in front of her but what she does not do is uh, succumb to bad practices and financial reporting and that's where she you know gets involved with a couple of people who are really not very you know good she gets abducted and then the story goes on and on and many interesting things happen which i'm not going to tell you of course because i myself don't know so the next book which i have with me it was sent to me by srishti publishers this book is called super couples inspiring stories of couple preneurs and it's written by prachi Gurg. so this uh, this book is actually uh, you know it contains life stories of 19 couples a uh, couple friends actually who went ahead and you know co-founded uh, ventures and were really successful in their ventures the next book which i have is recollecting the ends and it's written by himanshu rai now this is a very interesting story i you know i just read the blog and i got really really excited so this is a story of amar who is a police commissioner and uh, you know who, who gets himself entangled in a really really deadly kind of case and uh, as in as he goes on solving about the solving the case he discovers that the case is not really that simple it is actually very very difficult and there are layers and you know things which he just cannot find out so this book seems really really interesting so I'm planning to read this one Finally, the last book is called The Fragrance of Rose and it's written by Chirajit Paul. Now, this is a story of a girl called Renita Bose who's actually a very ordinary girl but she has high ambitions and uh, in pursuit of a success, uh, she actually gets entangled with the wrong sort of people and has to, you know, flee away. Uh, but finally, after, you know, uh, trying her hands there, here and there, she, you know, makes it big in Bollywood and, but she has to go, you know, change her name, change her identity. And now she has success, everything, but what she does not have is love. So this is the story of that girl, her struggle in her earlier life and her struggle in Bollywood and, uh, this also seems like an inspiring read. So guys, those were all the books which I have got and these are 12 books which publishers and authors have sent me. Do let uh, me know which books you want me to read first. I will definitely do that. And I'm not going to review all of these books on YouTube. So I just want you guys to tell me which books I should uh, review on YouTube. So please do comment with your suggestions. Bye-bye.